Imagine water flowing, not on Earth, not even on Mars, but on an asteroid. Recent research suggests exactly that happened on Ryugu, a near-Earth asteroid, billions of years ago. This discovery could reshape what we thought about how common water was in the early solar system. Let's dive in. What is Rugu? Rugu is a C-type carbonaceous asteroid, which means it has a lot of carbon and primitive material, stuff that's been around since close to the solar system's formation. Japan's Hayabusa to mission visited it, collected samples, and brought them back to Earth. Scientists have been studying the samples and remote sensing data to figure out what Ryugu was like long ago. The new evidence, what did they find? The key is alteration features in Ryugu's material. After the asteroid formed, liquid water apparently flowed through its rocks, altering minerals. That means water didn't just come later, it was present while Ryugu was still young, more precisely. The evidence suggests that liquid water existed much later than previously thought. Not just in the earliest days of the solar system, perhaps hundreds of millions to a billion years after Ryugu formed. Signs include hydrated minerals, minerals that only form or change when water is present, and textures in the rock that can be explained by just heat or impact alone. You might show comparisons of unaltered versus water-altered mineral grains. Why this matters? Why is this a big deal? Because water is one of the key ingredients for life, but also for making habitable environments. If water was flowing inside asteroids, maybe conditions for organic chemistry were more common than we thought. Also, this shows that asteroids weren't homogeneous. Some parts might retain water or pass through cycles of wet versus dry or icy versus aqueous alteration. That affects how we model planet formation, how materials got delivered to Earth, and how common habitable-like environments were. Additionally, this gives clues about when water was active in the solar system, helps constrain timelines. The fact that water was flowing much later than assumed means that water activity was not just a fleeting early event, it's something that perhaps persisted or reactivated. Open questions and possibilities. There are still big questions. How much water was there? Was it just in pores and cracks or flowing in channels? How warm was it, enough to support more complex chemistry? Did impacts or internal heating cause melting at times? Future missions and more sample analysis could help answer that. Also, studying other asteroids and meteorites might reveal similar histories. What once seemed like a dry rock frozen in time may actually have been wet and dynamic. The evidence of flowing water on Ryugu Dosen T just tell us where water was. It tells us when, how, and maybe even why conditions for life might have been richer than we imagined. Thanks for watching and stay curious.